dear students today in this video we will try to solve a very important and very interesting integral that is uh, shown on the screen you can see it and you can uh, check it this is e raised power ax sin of bx dx and uh, this is a very important integral and we'll be trying uh, to solve it with the help of integration by parts as you are already aware about the integration of parts method if we have uh, two functions or you can say a product of functions u and v and this type of integral can be solved with the help of a formula which is used for solving integration by parts and we solve it as u into integration of v dx minus integration of uh, differentiation of u into integration of v dx and this is the formula used to solve uh, the uv type integrals and this is also a uv type integral here u instead of u we have e raised power ax and instead of uh, v we have sine of bx we'll be uh, solving uh, this integral by the same procedure uv method and uh, let's consider e raised power x as u and uh, sine of bx as v and uh, let's try to solve this integral we have integral i is equal to e raised power ax sine of bx and as i just said that we'll be treating e raised power ax as u and uh, sine of bx as v okay let's proceed and let's uh, move ahead with the same formula which we have just mentioned over here so uh, this will become e raised power ax in integral of sine of bx dx minus integral of uh, differentiation or differential of e raised power ax into integral of sine of bx dx whole dx this is the formula which is uh, generally used to solve or simplify the integrals which are in the form of u into v so let's further simplify it this is e raised power ax integral of sine of bx is equal to minus cos of bx internal differentiation of bx is b and that will be written in the denominator and then we have minus integral differential of e raised power ax is e raised power ax multiplied by a and integral of bx sine of bx is minus cos of bx divided by b and dx i hope up to this step everything is understood if you are unable to understand the step you can just rewind the video and watch it again and i'm sure you'll be able to understand each and everything so this is minus times e raised power ax and you know this is i equal to minus times e raised power ax cos of bx and in the denominator we have b minus a times e raised power ax cos of bx and in the denominator we have b dx here it is minus a minus times cos of bx we'll further simplify it and it becomes minus times e raised power ax cos of bx and in the denominator we have b minus into minus that becomes plus a will come out of the integral and similarly b will come out of the integral and in the integral we can write e raised power ax cos of bx dx and we will be using same formula that is uv formula to this integral e raised power ax cos of bx and i'll repeat here the formula is u into v dx this is u into integral of v dx minus integral differential of u integral of v dx whole dx 
okay this is how integrals in the form of uv are simplified so let's move ahead with one more step this is minus times e raised to power ax cos of bx and in the denominator we have b and i'll write a by b here and i will be trying uh, to solve this type of integral with the help of uv so this is u that means e raised to power ax integral of v that is integral of cos of bx dx minus integral differential of e raised to power ax into integral of cos of bx dx and whole dx okay now this is minus times e raised to power ax cos of bx no change in this portion of uh, question plus a by b now e raised to power x i can write as it is now integral of cos of bx is sin of bx and denominator i'll be writing in the denominator b so okay this a by b will be multiplied with this portion of the question so i'll be writing minus a by b integral e raised to power ax derivative of e raised to power ax is a times e raised to power ax and the integral of cos of bx is sin of bx divided by b dx okay one more step this is uh, minus times e raised to power ax cos of bx in the denominator it is b of course it is i here plus a upon b e raised to power ax sin of bx and in the denominator we have b then here we have this a will come out and this b will come out it will become minus a power 2 and in the denominator b power 2 integral it will remain e raised to power ax sin of bx dx okay now this is i times i is equal to minus times e raised to power ax cos of this is cos of bx not cos of x only cos of bx and in the denominator we have b plus a times e raised to power ax sin of bx and in the denominator we have b square and then we have minus a square divided by b square into i because as you can see this e raised power integral of e raised power ax sine of bx is equal to i and it is a given question so instead of integral e raised power ax bx i can replace it by i and i will move this term on the left hand side of the equation so it becomes i plus a square upon b square i is equal to minus times e raised power ax cos of bx divided by b then we have a times e raised to power ax sine of bx divided by b square this uh, by cross multiplication becomes b square i plus a square i divided by b square is equal to on the right hand side i can uh, take lcm of b and b square that is b square and i will write minus b e raised to power ax cos of bx plus a e raised to power ax sine of bx okay now this becomes i times a square plus b square divided by b square and on the right hand side i take e raised to power x e raised to power ax as it is common in the both the terms so i will take it out i will write e raised to power ax 
and I'll write minus b cos of bx plus a sine of bx and in the denominator I can write b square and this b square and b, b square cancels out I can write only i is equal to e raised to power ax a sine of bx minus b cos of x and in the denominator I will write a square plus b square and this is the final answer to the given question I hope you understood each and every step involved in the solution of this equation if you are unable to understand any of the steps you can just rewind the video watch it again and I'm sure you'll be able to understand each and everything regarding the solution of this integral and this was all for today I'll be meeting in the next lecture till then goodbye and take care